Hi guys and welcome back. I hope every one of you is doing good today. Um, today I'm going to share some of the very useful tips and tricks about the Excel data analysis. Uh, honestly speaking, every one of us wants to make our Excel data analysis fast and Excel files to move in the direction the way we want. But sometimes there are some stubborn Excels which are slow in data calculations and sometimes they also end up in a situation where they run endless data calculation. This is a very, uh, I would say, annoying situation and depressing situation for a person who's working on Excel. And sometimes it also hangs your whole Outlook, uh, PowerPoint and Word applications as well. So which is quite frustrating. So to, to, to show you how it happens is, for example, this is one of the data files that I have. And for example, if I run uh, refresh all on this, it ends up in a calculation mess. You can see my Excel is not responding now and now my excel will start calculation which will end i don't know when so such excel files can be reviewed can be checked and those excel files can be uh, i would say um, fixed as well by yourself with just a few tips and tricks so for that reason i will show some of the uh, tips today um, i'm happy that you're joining so let's move ahead and talk about it so to fix such errors or a situation where Excel has some limitless calculations or some um, processing which never ends or it gets very, very slow and it impacts your productivity and your PC's speed as well. Um, I will recommend certain step of checks on your Excel files, which are making your data analysis very slow. So the first thing before running such check on your PC or your Excel file is that go to Excel file and over there you find this options. Click on the options and there you have this formulas. In the formula, there is workbook calculation. This should be automatic and it is recommended to keep it automatic. But for such checks, I would recommend to make it manual for a while till the time you're checking this file. Reason is that whenever you will run um, your, your check and during the check, if Excel automatically uh, calculates something, then it will end up in again um, hanging up your PC or hanging up your Excel and making the calculation slow. So you don't want to waste time, make it manual for a while, do your checks and then turn it to automatic after your checkup. So the first thing I would recommend you to check is that if there are any pivot tables in your Excel, just make sure that pivot tables are to a certain limit selection. So the selection limit needs to be defined in a very concise and precise way. Uh, how you can check it, go to the pivot table tools. Once you click on the pivot table, there is this enable pivot table tools. In analyze, you can click on the data source change. So in this case, you can see that Excel data source is covering all the workbook, which is not recommended because in XLSX format, we have around a million um, rows or more than a million rows. So if Excel is calculating more than a million rows from one worksheet you can imagine how long it will take for the excel to proceed so what i will recommend is to go back to your data and select as much as it is needed so for example in this case we need to analyze only 283 rows and maybe it can be 2000 it can be 20000 but it cannot be limitless so um, that is something you need to be careful about when you run uh, your analysis because i can show you over here you see this is a million plus um, rows so if you are analyzing million plus row for no reason your excel definitely uh, is getting uh, slow um, certainly with the logic so this should be changed if you have such a thing in your um, excel file which is um, like like handed over to you by someone so you can check it uh, in this way. Second recommendation I will recommend is to go for and check the names uh, in your system, in your PC, in your Excel. So how you can check that? You have to go to the formulas and over there you find this name manager. So these name managers normally are connections uh, to certain calculations in the other workbooks. So for example, if this link or name manager uh, is not connected to any Excel in your PC. This means that when the other user was working on his PC, he was calculation some, uh, making some calculations from another workbook in his workbook. So this means this connection was valid on his PC, but not on yours. So anyways, you're not importing any data from this link. So 
if it is not connected to any Excel workbook, this makes your Excel slow. This makes your calculation slow. So remove it if it is not um, uh, linked anywhere. After removing this, I will uh, recommend another step and that is for the data connections. So if you click on the data connections here and you see some connections which are not valid at the moment because you are not connecting any data in your file, that can also make slow. Uh, I will repeat, that can make your PC slow, but if in a case, if in a case this link is available on your PC, it will not make your PC slow because Excel uh, calculation gets slow only when the data is not available and the link is not valid. So if this link is valid and data is available, then no need to remove it. But if it is uh, invalid, then remove this because this is making your Excel calculation slow. Similarly, you can find some uh, links from here as well by clicking on edit links, and then you can find links from here. So this can also be useful if you delete some links from here, which are showing that these are uh, hashtag REF. This can be, um, Hashtag REF can be the reference not available and this makes Excel slow as well. So if you find any links here with hashtag reference, this can make your system slow. Um, if in a case you find some links which you cannot delete from here, then I'll recommend you to go back to the pivots because they can be connected to the pivots and in the pivots you can find certain calculated items. So if you have certain calculated items, you can check them via going to the solve order and remove those calculated items. Those calculated items normally make Excel slow if they are not linked in your system. So make sure we have all the links available and connected in our PC, in our system, in our Excel to make sure that it's working fine. So guys, these were some tips for making your Excel work faster. And if it's very, very slow, definitely such checks can, can uh, really help to make it error free. Uh, another recommendation I will make over here is to go back and make your formulas automatic. Because if you will not make your formulas automatic, it will not work for you um, properly in future. So make it automatic. And uh, certainly I hope that this checks um, will definitely help you in making your excels and your productivity improved. Uh, looking forward to talk to you again, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Bye-bye.